Okay, so this is my design for a 1 to 5 factor split for fluids. The first challenge is turning all of your junctions into the equivalent, equivalent of splitters and mergers so you do not get backflow clogging up your system. And of course that takes valves. Quite a few of them. Th up to three, even four. For a splitter, you need valves facing outwards with one facing inwards. For a merger, you need valves facing inwards with one facing outwards. I'd even try to make a little more room with this, with this design next time. So I can have uh, at least... I can at least have one merger here because having the uh, reintegrated fluid enter into that merger against the fluid from the main line, there's always some sloshing. It's minimal, especially with this pump right here, but I'd still like to eliminate it. So I'd probably make a little more room, put a valve here, a valve there, pointing inwards. I don't know if that would actually uh, remove the need for pumps. I doubt it. But it would, it should even out any sloshing because it'll force feed all of your fluid. Uh, there are some limits to this though. Because you only have two speeds of pipes, a Mark II pipe can only hold 600. That means by the time it gets out to the machines, you can only have a maximum of 120 fluid. You can expand on this by having two pipes flowing in, but then your bottleneck will happen in the collector pipes that's collecting both the redistributed fluid and the main line. So at 600, you can only have 500 fluid from the main line and 100 fluid being reintegrated reintegrated into the system so that's a full 600 pipe right there that'll up the total amount to 200 but you can only introduce a thousand fluid to the system the only other way i can think of to expand that is to literally build another factor split directly on top and just uh use a junction to merge it just as it's going to the machine that could you, that could give you the opportunity to Utilize the full capacity of both Arc 2 pipes, and I'll have a full 1200, and all your machines would get 240 fluid per minute. Or if you use four Mark 6 pipes, you could have a total of 400 fluid to going to every machine. And you can literally create any number, any amount of fluid uh, between 0 and 400 with that setup. The only other use I can think of this for, because obviously this takes up a lot of space, uh, it, it'll be hard to fit into every build you design, especially if, you, if you're working with small machines, that's not very space efficient, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'd have to say the only other use I can think of is to reintroduce... Uh, excess fluid from the production system. So fluid coming in and fluid going out would all happen at the same rate because your fluids are being divided evenly. And then you can just math out, okay, how much fluid do I have to reintroduce back into the start of the system? And you don't have to worry about your junctions, how your junctions are gonna split your fluid, how if any sloshing is gonna happen, that's going to slow your machines down slow your machines down and cause fluctuations stutterings and that and all of that will eventually cause your machines to halt as the pipe gets filled up from incoming fluid it's not going to be useful in every case honestly if you just want 200 or 400 you're probably better off just using one or two Mark II pipes and splitting them three ways. But if there's a more esoteric number, that could potentially be more useful. 
because valves have a drawback. It needs a full pipe in order to release the full set amount of fluid. So that's a limitation of using valves. So you can't just for uh, feed any pipe and expect your valves to release the amount you want to. So factor splitting creates a lot more consistency. None of these valves are actually limited, mind you. They're just there to keep the flow going. And it won't be limited by a percentile of whatever it's set to, because it's just set to 300. Less than 300 is... Well, less than 3 or 600 is less than 3 or 600. It just releases all of it. That did not come out very clearly at all. Anyways... Those are just my thoughts on this. I'd very, be very much interested to see what else could be done with this, if anything. I have tested it. It, aside from the small fluctuations caused by the reintroduction pipe, it does absolutely divide evenly. Yeah, that was still fluctuating. Okay, that one's stable. That one's stable. Yeah. That's that's all I have. I designed a factor split for fluids. Because I wanted to. I honestly wonder if I can fit this into any of my machines... It's obviously not going to be able to replace the benefits of just controlling the flow with valves by gravity feeding them. But you don't have to wait for your pipe network to fill up. This one will start releasing an even amount much faster across all your machines at once. So that is a definite advantage, just like the belt factor splits are. But the problem is, it comes with it's a trade off a lot of a lot of space, even more so than the belt factor splits. I'm a little disappointed by that, but honestly, I still think this is pretty cool. Anyways, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, how is it they always end it? Hit like and subscribe and ring the bell. I'm DT. I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for stopping by.